Um, I got the idea from when I was really little uh, because we had some of the journeymen staying at my parents' house and um, I just kind of loved the whole thing about it and I always knew about it and was quite fascinated and I actually wanted to be one but that didn't happen and um, kind of in the last few years one of my good friends actually started doing the whole thing himself which kind of reattached me to the subject and um, I just wanted to do something on a German tradition for an English audience that they've never heard about. Is it from a particular region in Germany or is it a national thing? Or? It's a national thing. It's okay. also in Austria and Switzerland, oh. all German speaking areas because it's from the Middle Ages where the borders weren't as they are right now. Mm -hmm. And how long was the shoot? We went to Germany for three, well I went by myself for three weeks to do some research before and then we went back for three weeks with the whole crew except for the editor. And as the editor, how did you find the process of uh, putting the piece together? Well it was very exciting because it's very personal if you're involved as an editor in a documentary, you get to choose from, I don't know, we had 27 tapes so that's almost... 20 or more hours mm -hmm. to make a 10 minute film and we spent I believe more than eight months in an editing suite to find the right footage so wow. that was very very exciting okay. and I think you get to know your director very well uh -huh. because as soon as you present a new version they are always so critical about it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I think we found a work like I don't know the same way we kind of understood each other uh -huh. and that was great. Yeah. So you've had a lot of positive feedback uh, from the from the documentary um, so far from people. Yeah, so far, it's yeah. actually only really positive. positive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone loves it. Yeah, you look, you look like you're surprised that that's the case. Well, you know, you're always very worried about your own projects because there's obviously always something you see or you kind of would, have, you know, you, there's always something you would mm. want to change or mm -hmm. you want to add or any of that. So. I think it's always very difficult to present a film to an audience for the first time when you've mm -hmm. never had any proper feedback. So. Mm -hmm. And I also think after spending so many months in the editing suite, you're more or less able to lose, I don't know, the, the idea or the, yeah, yeah. Mm. you just so happy to see that it, to people it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that people understand mm -hmm. the subject and also kind of laugh at the right points, yes. especially I like it. So good, so what's next for you? Um, well, I am going to go to the States for a few months to get some work experience and to see what it's like and um, hopefully come back with a lot of great new ideas and plans mm -hmm. <laughs> that I have a few in mind actually but uh, I think we will definitely be working together again and mm -hmm. we have a few plans for mm -hmm. some upcoming projects together right. as well. So you feel like you could be a, a, a burgeoning team yeah, coming, yeah, out, coming out of college? Yeah. Also, I might have to say that um, I was her editor before as well, Okay. last year, and uh -huh. um, now we've just kind of swapped roles, so that worked really well as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amazingly well, yeah, yeah. Very, like, our documentaries seem to be quite popular to the audience, yeah. uh -huh. and we're planning to go, like, after, she's going to LA first, and then I follow her, and then we're going to Mexico and Peru, so mm -hmm. I think we're going to get some great projects out of that. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for your kind little interview, and good luck with the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.